Hi, welcome to episode 95 of The Corner of Knit and Tea. I'm Laura, also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at thecornerofknitandtea.com, which is where this episode and every episode show notes will be. I have an Etsy store called The Stash Buckler Adventures in Yarn, where I sell my hand spun yarns. And we have a Ravelry group where we have some fun things going on right now. It is called The Corner of Knit and Tea, and if you haven't come over and joined us, please do. Hello, how are you? It is Sunday, July 3rd. It is a gloomy July 3rd here. Um, the weather has actually been in the 60s for the last two days, and they threatened that we were going to get torrential rain. Um, we have not gotten torrential rain, but it has been kind of a steady uh, on-off um, rain, and uh, it has been much cooler, and uh, the rain is much needed, so we'll take it. It is supposed to clear tonight, and tomorrow is supposed to be a little overcast, but no more rain. Um, and tomorrow, of course, is July 4th, which is Independence Day here in the United States. And one of the big things that happens on Independence Day is lots of fireworks. And we actually live not very far from a lot that puts on um, a sponsored fireworks show. So it is a really excellent show and we can actually watch from our backyard. So uh, my in-laws are coming over later and we are going to barbecue tomorrow, um, which is kind of the all American thing to do. We'll have hamburgers and watermelon and ice cream and um, then we'll watch the fireworks in the evening in our yard. And then of course, Tuesday, we'll go back to work like normal. <laughs> So how are you? I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I have had a pretty good crafty week. I have been um, working to try and get all sorts of little things done to close out June and um, to start July. And of course, I have got my spin on because the Tour de France started yesterday and I watched the full day. It was an excellent day of racing. Um, there were, <clears throat> excuse me, there were a few accidents um, and a few mishaps, but in general, it was a wonderful first day for the Tour. Um, I don't have anyone specific that I'm rooting for. I just like to watch the race and spin along. And I did spend about four or five hours at my wheel yesterday, which was fabulous, except for the fact that I'm a little sore today. I guess I need to get up and move and stretch a little bit more often. So let's get into the podcast. There will be a little knitting, a lot of spinning, and some talking about some prizes. So today's tea is Ashby's Orange Cinnamon Tea. This was part of a gift basket that my husband got me um, for my birthday this year, um, which had a bunch of different teas and um, little cookies and things. And I am drinking it in my always Azul Pottery mug, which I got at the Renaissance Festival uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, and this, when I opened the package, all I could smell was the cinnamon. So I expect this to be quite good. Oh, it is. It is really cinnamony, um, which I really like. So I chose to drink hot today. Um, it's actually not that chilly in the house, um, but I just brewed it hot and uh, didn't bother pouring it over ice. So that's what I'm drinking today. Ashby's Cinnamon Orange, and that will be linked in the show notes. So let's get to the knits. First off, this is not something that I finished this week, but I just thought I would show you. The buttons came in the mail. And so this is my finished. Um, this was the Garter Stitch Baby Kimono by Hohi Locatelli. And the yarn is Hello Yarn. Um, it was her fat sock in the Sudden Puddles colorway. And this one got buttons this week. And they're not coming across real well. They're like a cross between yellow and olive green. Um, and I think they suited it just fine. So, and I put it on the hanger this morning so I could take a few pictures. Um, so that is that one done and put to bed. This is from my nephew and I actually may save it until he actually makes his debut in the fall. Um, I haven't decided when I'm going to send all the gifts. Um, so this one is just done and ready to go to him. Um, the second thing that I was working on last week that I showed you was the um, strawberry semifredo hat. 
Now this I am knitting in uh, Dalegarn, or I think it's Dalgarn, um, but I don't know. I'm not very good with um, foreign pronunciations. It is the Pure Eco Baby Wool, and last time I checked this was not available on their site yet, but it is something that they are getting ready to release. It is 100% organic wool, um, and it comes in 50 gram skeins with approximately 174 yards to the skein. It is about a sport weight, um, and and they sent me this uh, free of charge to review for them. And I chose what to knit, which was this cute little cabled ear flap hat. Let's see if I can get it so that you can see the actual cables. Um, it's in a dark purple colorway, and I am calling it Grape Semifredo. Okay, there you go. You can see the um, absolutely wonderful cables. The ear flaps are um, part of the hat and have the cable over the ear, and then um, the ties are just a simple cable all the way down. Um, the other thing that I loved about this pattern is the way it comes together in a little star on the top. I know it's a little hard to see, but let me see. There we go. You can kind of see the way it comes together um, with a star at the top. This pattern was $6.50. And um, given the complicated cables and um, how beautiful the, the finished product is with all that attention to detail, I can say it is definitely worth it. Um, and I'm thinking about knitting one for me eventually. Um, so the yarn, which is what I was primarily reviewing, um, it is a really nice soft wool yarn. It has got a very nice hand. Um, I think it, um, you can see the cable definition. I'm just really trying to get the light to hit it so that you can see this real well. There we go. Um, the definition on the cables is just beautiful. Um, so I can definitely recommend this yarn for that. Um, as I said, when I started knitting, um, I was confused about the pattern. So I did have to rip out. Um, so I will say that the yarn holds up to a ripping and re-knitting, um, which certainly isn't something you always want to do, but it is a good quality for a yarn. Um, and I really liked using this yarn. I would definitely use this yarn again. Um, my only minor complaint was just that it was a little splitty, um, but I was also doing cable work. So I was doing a lot of switching stitches and pulling stitches off and um, twisting them around. And so um, I suspect that some of the splittiness had to do with the pattern that I was knitting. Um, if I was just knitting straight stockinette, I don't know that it would be that splitty. So I really enjoyed this yarn. I will um, put up a full blog post this coming week about with pictures of the hat and more about the yarn and what I thought of it, but I heartily recommend it. Um, and like I said, I don't know exactly when it is coming out, but it should be shortly. And this is a winter hat for Roxy ready to go. Um, and I am just super pleased with um, the entire project. So that is a second one done, or really the first one done for this week. Um, last week, I also talked to you about a project that I was going to do for Quidditch for Harry Potter, which was to knit a baby sweater in a week. This one is still quite wet because I soaked it last night, um, but I did take some pictures today because I have to post it today. Today marks one week. Um, and this is Fido Yarns. Um, it was in their sock base um, in the orchid colorway. And I knit the Abernathy cardigan by Megan Gruel. Um, her cardigan actually calls for two colors. Um, it calls for a separate color for the collar and button bands. Um, but I didn't have anything in my stash that really worked. So I decided to just go ahead and knit it um, all in one color. It is a cute eyelet yoke and then just pretty plain sleeves with a garter border and um, three buttons up at the top. Um, they are not the exact green green that is in the cardigan, but I think they're coming across a little more blue on the um, monitor than they uh, than they actually are. I think they go pretty well. Um, so that is the cardigan. I did finish that. That came in at 264 yards. Um, the prompt was to knit 200 yards in the space of one week. So I need to post those photos today and let this one dry, but that is done. I do have 36 grams of the 100 gram skein left over. Um, well, actually, it must have been a heavy skein because the sweater itself was 66 grams. And I weighed that. Um, yeah, I weighed that before I put the buttons on. Um, so uh, it must have been a heavy skein, which is fine um, because I think I have enough to do a matching hat. So that will happen at some point, though not necessarily this month, because it is July and I need to move on to some other things. 
So that is the uh, Abernathy sweater and that is finished and that is for a dear friend who is expecting a little girl in September. So that is the end of my knitting for this week. I did show you um, those beautiful Dream and Color Classy skeins in the Tarte Green last week. Um, I uh, Part of my plan yesterday was to wind them up and cast on for that baby blanket um, because that is my loopy project for this month and I just did not get to it yesterday. I spun, I finished that baby sweater, I sewed on all the buttons, um, plus I had some things to do around the house to get ready for my in-laws, and I just did not have time. And I actually, I was good, I stayed away from the computer and the computer games all day, um, but I just did not have time. So as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going to wind up the yarn and get that started. Um, I hope to knit on that some this weekend while my in-laws are here, um, because I can't spend the entire time on my spinning wheel while watching the tour much though I might like to. So that is the main focus project for this month. I also received another um, sample yarn, which I will talk about next week. Um, and I'm in the process of selecting a project for that. And I will say, actually, they sent two skeins. Um, and I am only going to do a one skein project because I just do not have time for more right now. Um, and I've picked out a shawl pattern for that. So I will talk about that next week. And there will be a giveaway for a skein for you. So stay in, stay in touch, tune in next week if you want to see more about that. So that finishes the knitting portion. Like I said, um, knitting is a little bit light this week. Um, let's move on to spinning. So last weekend I showed you a braid of fiber that I was going to spin at Spinning Sunday and that was um, a Southern Cross fiber braid in dark blues and um, some pops of green um, and a lot of dark teal and that was called Resistance is Feudal. And um, I finished that this week. And uh, actually, I spun it super, super thin. This is, I think, the most yardage I have ever gotten out of one skein. This is Resistance is Feudal. And I don't think the monitor is showing you all the wonderful shades. I did post a picture on Instagram, and there are pictures in my Ravelry um, Projects workbook under hand spun. Um, I got 477 yards of a fingering weight yarn out of four ounces, which um, this is a two ply, which for me is probably the best I've ever spun. I realize that it's not actually um, that amazing because there are people who get that amount of three ply out of the same amount. Um, but for me, that was really a milestone. And I will say it took forever to ply. So um, I don't know. This one just happened to spin thin. I didn't start out with the goal to spin thin. Um, it just kind of uh, felt that way. This was a 65% pull worth and 25, 35, 65, 35% silk. Um, and so I just wanted to uh, show you that one. Um, this one is currently up in the shop and it is available if anyone is interested. So with the um, semi Fredo hat and the baby sweater and um, this 477 yards, um, which translated to, I think, like 436 meters, I am now at 5,600 meters um, towards Stash Dash, which it's only been about a month and I have lots of spinning and knitting to do. Um, so I'm starting to think 10,000 yards this this time around, this summer, um, is a doable goal. I really... Um, I don't think I'll hit 15,000. Um, I might. I'm certainly going to keep going, um, but I'm not going to like break myself to try and reach it. I'm just happy that I will get to 10,000. So that is that. Let's turn our attention to Tour de Fleece. <laughs> yesterday, I uh, spent most of the day spinning a braid. I had hoped to finish four ounces of singles yesterday so that I could ply them today. And I got through about three or three and a half ounces and I just could not sit anymore. Um, so I brought just a little bit of the fiber that's left. This is um, Hello Yarn. It is Shy Creatures in Rambolet, and it has um, navies and purples and some burgundy and some green and then little pops of orange and brown and then lots of white. And in the white, occasionally... I don't know if I'll be able to, let me see if I can find some. In the white, occasionally there's a little pop of like a minty icy blue. Um, so I am super excited about this one. I will finish these singles today. Um, I probably won't ply today. I'll probably let it rest for a day and ply tomorrow. Um, and I think what I will start is maybe um, one of those two ounce bundles from the Shetland sampler kit that I showed you last week. I think I'm going to try and alternate those in with my braids. 
so that's what I'm working on right now. This will be for the shop, um, and my guess is I will finish it tomorrow, um, wash dry some photos. It'll probably be up um, Wednesday or Thursday in the shop. I will be putting stuff up kind of as I finish it, so just keep an eye on my Instagram feed um, because there will be extra stuff going up in the store for a little bit, not just usually my one braid a week. Um, next up on the wheel, after I do one of the Shetland samplers is um, I'm trying to show you some of the braids that I'm going to spin this week because you won't ever see them in braid form if I don't. Um, so I thought I would show them to you. Um, one of them is a Wooly Wonka Fibers. This is Superwash Merino and she's calling it her Bazinga colorway. And I don't know if it was specifically supposed to be after Big Bang Theory, but I love Big Bang Theory and I loved these bright colors. Um, this is also for the shop. And so I hope to get this one on the wheel this week. This is Anne um, over at Wooly Wonka Fibers, and I am also spinning on her team, so I thought I would purchase a little bit of her fiber and um, add that to her team. So that will be another braid this week, and I'm hoping maybe I'll even get one more before I see you again. That might be too um, ambitious, so I don't know if that will happen for sure. This is a um, hoarded braid of Southern Cross Fiber. Let's see if I can, that's a little bit better on the colors. Um, it is called Cavern. It is blues and teals and then a little bit of this kind of olivey swampy green. Um, it is, I believe, a merino alpaca silk. I don't have the label here. Um, it was a club braid from a couple years ago and like I said, I've been hoarding it because I love the colors. Um, and originally I was gonna keep it for myself, but I actually got um, those bats that I showed you last week when I showed you how I was gonna pull things apart. That has very similar coloring to this and I decided that I would keep those for myself and I would use this one um, to spin up for Tour de Fleece. And um, this one is a Southern Cross Fiber. I am also spinning on the Southern Cross Fiber team. This is all in addition to my team, the Corner of Knit and Tea. Um, and if you are spinning for the Tour de Fleece and haven't heard about us yet, you are welcome to come join us. The rules for the team are simple, just spin. Um, if you want to chat and post progress, you can be eligible for random number generated prizes, um, and you must be a member of the group to win a prize, but that's pretty much it on the rules. No um, rules about what fiber you may spin or how you may spin it. Um, so I'm dipping into some other groups as I spin their fibers. For instance, Southern Cross Fiber is only Southern Cross Fiber, um, or at least a majority of Southern Cross Fiber. If you're doing a combo spin, like one braid from Southern Cross and one from another, that's okay, but it's got to have Southern Cross Fiber in it. Anyway, so I'm spinning on Southern Cross Fiber for this. I'm spinning on Hello Yarn for this one. Um, and Wooly Wonka Fiber's team is actually the same as mine. Um, she is open to anything. So I am posting all of my progress pictures in her thread. Um, but I wanted to spin a little bit of her fiber um, since I was going to join her group. So that is what I'm spinning. So that gets me through to most of what I have prepared. I thought I would actually take a brief moment and talk about prizes. I did mention prizes for my um, Tour de Fleece group. So um, what I'm going to do is each week I'm going to randomly select, um, using the random number generator, select a prize um, out of all the posts in the thread for that week. Um, and so there will be three of those and I have three braids of fiber to give away for that. And then um, after we finish the tour, I'm going to ask everyone to post once in a thread um, with a group shot of everything that they have spun. And I have two more braids of fiber that I will draw for um, those um, out of random number generator again. So in some total, I have five braids to give away. So I thought I would show those. Um, the first one is actually a donation from the lovely Anne of Bully Wonka Fibers. Um, she asked if she could send me a braid as a prize, and I said, of course, and she sent this beautiful pink and green braid. It is um, kind of soft, but also kind of summery, and it makes me think of lily pads a little bit. Um, and this is a 50-20-25. It is a superwash merino nylon alpaca silk. I bet that is an amazing braid. It is four ounces, and that is one of the prizes that I will be giving away. Um, it will be one of the weekly drawings. The next braid of fiber that I selected was a um, some fiber that I got when I went to yarn school in spring of 2013. 
and this is a Hello Yarn colorway. It is Portuguese merino wool in the colorway Wheat, and it is all neutrals. It is yellows and grays, a little bit of grello, um, so I um, hope that that will be interesting to you. Um, so that is another one of the prizes that I will draw during the weeks. And finally, I have some Southern Cross Fiber for you. This was a club braid in June 2015. It is South American super fine merino, which is absolutely baby soft, mulberry silk, and cashmere. So um, merino silk cashmere. This is in the peacock colorway, which is greens and blues. So um, that is another one that is up for grabs. And then I have a couple special things that I picked out for the final drawing. Um, the first is, this is a, um, a skein of, it looks almost like pencil roving. It is um, hand-painted 100% silk roving from Blue Moon Fiber Arts in the colorway Caddy Wampus. Um, and it is kind of a rainbowy colorway and it is silk and it is luscious and I hope that someone um, will win it and will enjoy it. So that is one of the prizes that I will draw for um, kind of the uh, the overall finished after the Tour de Fleece is over thread. Um, and finally, for the kind of grand prize, I have, this is eight ounces um, of Merlot on Falkland from Spunky Eclectic. So this would be great if you wanted to do like a solid colored shawl. Um, it is just a great plummy Merlot color, um, and that is eight ounces of fiber. So we have some great prizes to be won, um, and these are, um, I want to thank Anne from Wooly Wonka Fibers for her donation because that is a lovely braid um, that I wish I could keep and spin, but I'm going to send it out into the world. So I hope that you have had a lovely week, and if you are a spinner, I hope that you're spinning along with us. This is, like I said, one of my favorite times of year. Um, knitting progress will be scant, but I hope to have lots of spinning to show you next week. Um, and I will say, as I always do, until I see you next time, happy knitting, happy spinning, happy sipping, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>